Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we're taking a look at this generation being out of control. But let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. NASA says we can't visit the sun because it's too hot, but here's the twist. If you visit the sun at night, wouldn't it be cold? Wow, I've seen some uneducated people in my life, but this girl might be the least educated of them all. My college confession. Yeah, that you've done. In the library, but that's different. No, stop, I've worked. <laughs> what in the world was she even thinking? She definitely lost her job after this video. When Is I it... hop off this counter and break that camera, you won't be mad. Oh. So stop recording me, though. Make my milkshake and chill no. out. I'm not making nothing. You're not making nothing? Dude, you sir, you heard how she talked to me? Alright. Inside, I'm not making nothing. You wanna stand here, Sandy? We're not just serving you. I'll go back there myself and make a damn milkshake, mother. Dude, get the hell out of here. Dude, make me, Mr. Sir! These cringy TikTok kids got exactly what they deserved. They really thought they were doing something other than just making fools out of themselves. Oh, it's all over. We really need to help that man that made her his wife. It's very rough out here in Vegas sometimes, y'all. So taking their shoes off. Let's just see if she shows the bottom. It's completely black. It's not even a little. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, good lord. Whoever's sharing a bed with her is in for a sea of diseases from her feet. Ain't a nine to five guy or a perk head dealer with money. Perkhead. A perkhead. A little bit money. Perk dealer. What money? <laughs> oh, with the perkhead with the money. Dealer. I like dealers. How bad is the perk addiction? As long as money is involved, these women will take it over anything. Have you been to jail? Do you have any warrants? No warrants, but I did have to spend a night in jail in college for underage drinking. And the cop um, asked me what my name was, and my drunk alter ego name is Brittany. And I said, it's Brittany. So he gave me obstruction of government operations. <laughs> Whoa. But like, he was low-key flirting. She explained this as if it were some sort of accomplishment. Do you want a cookie or something? What's some, what's your, um, what's a college confession that you never told anyone? A what? A college confession. College confession? Um, I like told five guys I was going to hook up with them tonight and now I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> do you feel like a... For saying that? I do now. I wasn't before, but I have been in the last like few days. You think you can slip in another number for me? Uh, can I? I will if you want. <laughs> yeah, boy. What's your number? My number? Okay, I won't say it on like live television. Wait, you don't even know my name, man. I don't need to know your name. This will be like a one night stand. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They say these things like they're on TV or something. Little do they know, they're getting exposed to the dating pool. <laughs> well, I guess that's one way to get it down the gullet. Definitely an interesting one at that. Have you ever been on a date just for free food? I have. Do girls do that a lot? Yeah, they do. So what happens if he flips it on you and like makes you pay half the bill? I would never do that. And if you do that, then you're not on a date. You're lying to yourself. So you... then how does someone know if you're actually interested in them or if you're just in it for the free food? It depends. I mean, like... The amount of women who admit to doing this shows exactly what's wrong with our generation. Switch. Yes, got it. Thank you. He really let that fitness girl humiliate him in the gym like that. Come on now, bro, be better. Um. 
<laughs> okay, I gotta admit, this is pretty hilarious. Bro pulled up with a typewriter. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing good. What's your name? Jayla, why are you standing like that? Like, I'm stand high. up. Hey, you gotta be louder. Like I'm high. I did most Me too. Whatever, I'm That's not okay. I know. What you do besides rap? You just rap and do. I make money. That's it. How old are you? 21. Oh, okay. How old are you? I'm 22. What's your name again? Jayla. Jayla. Yeah. You ratchet. Do I look ratchet? You act like ratchet, hey. like your attitude. Why you act like that? How do I act? You don't want us over here like this. But you the crazy one. I did But I'm ratchet. You can go. Yeah. Baby, you ain't my type. You feel me? You're not what I like. <laughs> she was being so rude to him. Of course he was gonna reject her. She's off the walls. I mean, these two were standing, they was brothers. They was brothers. They were standing next to each other, high-fiving each other, like, oh, f I was just right there, like. <laughs> the fact she posted this publicly on the internet just shows how insane she is. What's the lowest amount of money you would suck your best friend off for? I don't even think I could do it. If they paid me a million dollars, yeah, I'd do it, but, like, that's the lowest I'm going. But what about, like, 20 grand cash, though? All right, okay, 20 grand, I could probably do. How long, on average, does a guy last with you? 0.5 seconds, because I'm so hot, they literally can't contain themselves. What's your longest? dry spell three months why was that i don't know girl professional girl era what's the lowest amount of money you would suck your best friend off for which best friend a guy friend jimmy oh jimmy maybe 200 again 200 bucks yeah <laughs> so cheap is that cheap i'm a cheap it's so cheap my voice cracked yeah you're like mm. <laughs> You go bump 200 bucks off somebody. Yeah, exactly. If she's hot, she probably isn't too smart. That's the trade-off we have to live with. I'm at an absolute loss. My fiancé and I have been together for six years. We have an amazing relationship, and shortly after we got engaged, we decided to make our secret fantasy a reality. I asked my fiancé if he would be willing to have some a one-off experience for us both before we get married. We both agreed to doing this and I ended up asking a friend of mine if she would be willing. We all agreed and after a lot of great communication, we worked out what we were okay with and how it would all go down. Fast forward to the night, we all had quite a bit to drink. To be honest, the whole night felt like an exciting blur. Last week, she called and dropped an absolute bombshell on us. She called me when I was at work and told me that she was pregnant. I don't even have words. Preg. Pregante. And that my fiancé is a father. I called my fiancé straight away. <sighs> he said, oh, my God, I actually think the mom did break, but I was too drunk to remember or to even think about talking about it. She's decided to keep the baby. Holy No, shit. she says, I feel really blindsided. I have no idea what to do. How do I even process this? My fiancé and I do want kids together one day, but the idea of him having a baby with another woman makes me feel sick. How do we explain this to friends and family? How do we know if this can even work? I feel so overwhelmed. I don't know. This is super tricky and rough, but I guess it comes down to how you view it. They probably can work something out, but still, this is hard. Bro, I'm never doing again. Well, me and Situationship decided to do last night, and at first it was lit. We eating candy, laughing the usual. Then we put on that Ant-Man Quantum World movie, and got real after that. So we sit in there watching a movie, and then he turns to me and go, what are we doing? I'm like, we watching a movie. He said, what movie? So I just stare at him, because I'm like, is you playing right now? Then he jumps up and screams, I'm stuck in the quantum world. He raced out the bedroom into my kitchen. Now my kitchen open on both sides. So he's running in a circle at top speed. I finally stop him and he start explaining how he's trying to reverse time to get out of the time warp. After I agree that he's Iron Man, we go back in the room. Soon as we get in the room, he turns around and asks me, what are we doing? So I'm standing there mad lit trying to explain to him that we're lit. At this point, I'm scared. I'm like, all right, should I call a hospital? Like, what do I do? Then I had the nerve to get nauseous. So I'm sitting there hugging the toilet. He still want me to explain stuff to him. 
Then next thing I know, he leaning over the toilet with me, examining the contents like, damn, boo, you had shrimp today? So I come up with the solution that he can't focus on being crazy if he focused on getting head. In the middle of me performing my amazing services, he looks at me and goes, what are we doing? At this point, I accepted he was crazy and I was gonna have to call the people on him. Then out of nowhere, he snapped out of it and had no memory of anything that happened for the last two hours. And that's why these substances are not for everyone, but I've never heard of something like this. Well, this is my question then. Do you think it's gonna get to a point, right, where if we start losing jobs, right, and there's less jobs and more people are on like fans, right, mm -hmm. that you're basically going to have chicks out there, like literally people, women holding each other at point, like, you know, subscribe to my stuff like that. Uh, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what you're saying. You know, help. Jamie, <laughs> Jamie can you pull up some help? <laughs> pull up some help. I need some help, man. <laughs> at this point, OF creators might be fighting for their jobs because of the lack of employment. Name a country beginning with V. Venezuela! I said Finland. Finland. Huh? Finland. Finland. Oh my days! Low it! Don't F chat to me! You said what? Finland! You are on some Wait, joke team. This is an F, blood. Listen, I want to know where Finland is. A V, V. V. Yeah. Venus. <laughs> and this might be one of the most uneducated videos I have ever seen. Okay, another TikTok you posted. It was about uh, your dad knowing about your Yes, yes. What's your thoughts on that? So, um, <laughs> he, he knew I launched a when I went to LA for like three months. I, when the daughter goes to LA. Yeah, I turned 18. I was going to go to college at a full ride. I said, I'm not going to college. I'm going to go try to be in this girl band or whatever. Yeah. So I go out there. Big shock. Girl band does not come to fruition. But, you know, it, it, for the better. For the better, babes. And <laughs> I literally ended up just um, launching a uh, not a month later. And then I called my dad after I said, oh, wow, I don't, I don't really know what to do now. I said, hey, dad, I launched and um, I'm kind of done with L.A. I kind of want to come back. He's like, OK, got me, got me set up. Like, I got my little crib. But now, now I'm with my family. again. Yeah, I still live with my parents, but it's Same. great. You do? Yeah. OK, knuckle bump. Awesome. We're going in for this. Imagine finding out your own daughter is selling herself on the Internet. That must be heartbreaking. How old are you? 22. What you do for a living? I uh, work at former mills and uh. <laughs> Don't laugh. What's going on? What's going on? I got, I got a job. What's right. Like what? What's wrong with that? When did we, as a society, get to the place where we can laugh at someone for just being honest and hardworking? Do you know anything about uh, Africa? Africa? Yeah. Me no say I Jamaican can't come from Africa. I respect it. I respect it. All right. Cool. So um, what do you know about Nigeria? Um, Nigeria is a continent. What? It, no, sorry, it's just all, Nigeria is a uh, is a is, is an island, and it's in Africa. Nigeria is in Africa. Am I lying? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, that's it's, right. Uh, Nigeria is in Africa. Correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What is the capital of Nigeria? Capital of Nigeria. I know that one. I know that one. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, y'all, come look at this. Jamaica. I thought you said you were Jamaican. Yeah, how, yeah, can the, how can the capital of Nigeria be Jamaica, but you're from Jamaica? So you're Nigerian? No, I'm from Jamaica. I'm, I'm you just that, said that I'm the capital. I'm Nigerian because all Nigerians come from Jamaica. I mean, all Jamaicans come from Nigeria. You just tried to tell me that the capital of Nigeria was Jamaica, yeah. but you're Jamaican, which means you're Nigerian now. So what's the capital of Nigeria? Um, Is it not, is it not Ghana? <laughs> you know when you said that you was 10 out of 10 in terms of smartness, where did you, where did you get that from? I mean like my times tables. Oh, what's, what's 12 times 12? 160. <laughs> not a single brain cell was found inside of this man's cranium. What's your best pickup line, man? Where your man at? That's all I got. Okay. That's where your man at? Like, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like I asked her, where your man at? She oh, had I'm gonna give you right now. How do you respond? <laughs> Um, honestly, I just feel like, do you like the Oh, man. That's about it. That's okay, okay. So how do you keep a man in a relationship? Honestly, I don't like relationships. What do you prefer? I prefer dating. You know, it's fun. So you just casual stuff? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so when do you do you ever want to get serious with a guy? I mean, I do want to get serious, but nowadays, you know, people don't be serious. So I be on the type of time they own. Okay. So you're looking for a guy who wants to take you serious first? Sometimes. Fellas, we gotta do better than an offensive lineman. There's more options out here in this world, trust me. Leave her to find someone to take care of it. If she already put you in the friend zone, there's really no point in trying to take care of the baby. With my credit card, I max that out to 4,000. Um, what do you mean you max it out? Max it out or maxed it out? Ma so my max, I got confused with the credit debt and the credit limit. So my parents got mm. me a credit card and I ended up getting a max credit limit of $8,000. So I could spend up to $8,000. That's what that means, right? <laughs> So I I would use it and I would take my boyfriend. We would we would just started dating. We would go out. Twelve thousand five hundred on it now. Yeah. Well, when well, I looked continue. at it last, yeah. Continue. Um, me and my boyfriend, me and my friends, we would go out and I'm like, oh, I'll pay for everybody. I got it. I'll I'll spend the money. Don't worry about it. It's just a credit card. So I would I would pay and pay and pay and pay. And then I called my mom one day and I wanted her to be proud of me. So it's just like, hey, I've got four thousand dollar credit on my credit card, and she's like credit limit or credit debt i was like what's debt <laughs> and she's like oh that's bad i'm like oh really okay um so it's four thousand dollar debt then she's like that's bad why did you do that i'm like i thought that was good and she's like no your credit limit at the time it was uh it was eight thousand so i was like okay well the credit limit's eight thousand that's good right and she's like yes but you were four thousand dollars in debt <laughs> One day she'll be out of money completely and not understand why. So she invited both of them because she didn't know who the baby's father is. That's ridiculous. Clearly these guys don't respect themselves, which makes them low value. This proves that this generation is out of control. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You guys have made it to the end. Make sure to like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel and the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you might as well watch another one. Till next time.